Morning from the Brecon Beacons. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning. This is my uh, first video. Uh, I came to the Breckens last night, um, late last night, and uh, and parked up in a in a car car park, um, which was surprisingly quite busy. It's the Bank Holiday weekend, Jubilee Bank Holiday weekend, and there's quite a few cars there, um, and people camping around and. Uh, so I hope the car's okay when I get back. Um, but yeah, found a lovely, um, lovely little, little pitch. Whether you can see that. Um, and uh, yeah, the weather is uh, it's glorious this morning. Absolutely, you know, really nice, cloudy, but it's quite mild. And. Uh, yeah, the scenery is quite, the scenery is quite stunning. Um, so I'm just uh, starting to pack away. I'm planning on staying here for a few nights. Um, hopefully, well, hopefully a couple more nights. And uh, uh, the plan is to film some scenery on the walk and the next two camps. And uh, I'll probably talk about some of the gear that I've uh, that I've brought along. Um, and yeah, I hope this video comes out okay. Like I said, it's my first, it's my first one, so it's a bit, um, yeah, <laughs> don't really know uh, if I'm coming across okay. Um, but I'll probably look back on this and, and cringe, um, assuming I do carry on doing a few more. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start packing everything up and I'm going to get, um, get trekking. I don't know the name, I need to get better with the uh, names of mountains and hills. Um, but all I can say is the scenery is, uh, yeah, stunning. And I'm only halfway up. Um, so yeah, looking forward to getting to the, to the uh, summit. I don't think too much further to go. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh, absolutely knackered, um, I may definitely need to do a bit more, uh, cardio work, but, yeah, looking forward to get to the top. Get to the top. <laughs> um, yeah, stunning view. Who knew? quality with the wind. Yeah, that's 
standing so heading off that direction my car is that direction so I'm hoping the weather is uh, stays good <coughs> plan on <coughs> quite a big hike today um, I won't stop until probably around seven o'clock and then start to see if I can find somewhere to pitch up um, and walk and talk a bit why not so uh, yeah my whole route in total is about 30 miles so um, today I'm hoping to cover around 10 of those uh, maybe a little bit more if I can it'd be nice to on the last day do a little bit less but uh, yeah I'll see how I get on um, with the the uh, rest of the hike, um, but yeah, I'll uh, bring you back later when there's some nice scenery and stuff. Well, uh, just descended off the um, the peak. I actually came up a little bit earlier than what I was going to do because I need some water. Um, so I found a a good water source, and uh, yeah, um, planning to and grab some lunch. I think like make some lunch, um, and then thinking about where to go from here, whether I ascend back up the mountain on the other side um, or uh, whether I find somewhere kind of in the valley, kind of in a bit of a valley here as you can see. So whether I, uh, whether I decide to stay in the valley somewhere and find somewhere secluded to pitch up, I'm not quite sure but uh, yeah I've got, I've got some water now and then uh, See what happens from there. Tell you what, certainly can't bit any more into this bag <laughs> bursting at the seams. This is the um I'll do a review on, on this later but this is the Sierra Designs flex capacitor. This is the 25 to 40 litre version. Uh, I also have the big version which I think is I think is the 60 to 75 litre version. Um, a lot of people will go for the middle range one which I think is 40 to 60 litre. Uh, if I've got that right, um, but I prefer to have two different versions. Uh, but I prefer to have this for my kind of summer camp, um, and I can also use it as a, um, a day pack, and I can also use it uh, on planes because it, it will fit uh, as um, carry-on luggage in, on most airlines. So when I go abroad, I can just pack this and then and then take it, and I think that's. Um, the best thing to do but I'll do a review of, of this uh, and it's 
um, bigger brother uh, at some other point, but uh, I, it's a great bag, absolutely love it, uh, hence why I bought, bought two of them. Um, so, yeah, the other design's flex, flex capacitor, good. So, I managed to find a pitch, and it, uh, yeah, it was uh, one heck of a slog, I'm absolutely starving, I've got the jet ball on the go, uh, but wow, what a pitch I have got, it is probably my best pitch yet, um, let me show you the scenery. I mean, how stunning is that? So this is the, uh, this is the pitch. The uh, jet ball on the go. I've got a beer as well. I love this beer. This is um, Faith in Futures uh, Northern Monk. I love the Northern Monk beers. There's some great, great stuff. This is like really fruity. Um, lovely beer. I've got two beers left. Oh. <sighs> Might end up having both of them tonight, but we'll see. Uh, dinner. I've got uh, this Expedition Foods, uh, which is it's all right. I've had these quite a few times. This is a thousand calories. Um, I've had these uh, a few times and they're actually really good. Um, and um, yeah, thousand calories. So that should hopefully um, do me for the day. I do have a dessert if I can manage it after this as well. So yeah, um, but stunning. Stunning pitch, so we've got the Lanshan uh, one set up. I'll do a review on that at some point. See how it designs. Um, Cloud 35 sleeping bag, which is the first time I'm taking this out. Um, Nemo Tensor, uh, wide inch insulated. This is the 2022 version. Really good uh, sleeping pad. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna have some food because I am starving. I'm really hoping that the clouds stay away and I get an amazing sunset. Um, so if I do, obviously I'll, food, I'll be filming it. Ooh, so I just had an amazing sunset. Um, I was doing a time lapse on it, so I'll uh, I'll put that over the uh, put it on the video. Um, and it, yeah, it was it was a good, good, good sunset. Um, but uh, yeah, it's got really chilly now, so I'm gonna go to uh, gonna go to bed. I think the uh, camp's all set up. Need to go. Um, Got lots of uh, lots of sheep for com company tonight. Uh, a lot of sheep. Some of them have been um, staring me out a bit. <laughs> I don't think they're quite impressed with me camping here, but uh, yeah. So um, yeah, I'm going to uh, look at getting my head down. I think it's going to be a bit of a windy night, so it might be um, yeah a bit of a restless night. Um, I think the weather's moving into uh, over overnight. 
But uh, yeah, um, I will bid you good night. disaster um, not only is it like, really windy and really noisy as you might be able to hear so I'm really struggling to sleep but on top of that my Nemo tensor has decided to um, spring a leak so right now I am literally literally my well, backside is on the on the ground so it's going to be a night of constantly pumping the Nemo tensor back up. It's now, it's now one o'clock in the morning. But I can't keep steering it well. I'm going to have to keep doing that for the next six hours until I get up. Um, there's been reports, lots of reports of these um, puncturing really easy. Um, I think this is the fifth time I've used it, which isn't really acceptable. And I'm really careful with with them as well. I, you know, I use I a lot of the time I use foil um, mats along with it, and I also use a footprint for, all, for both of my tents. I've got a footprint underneath here as well to help protect it. So I don't know how it's punctured. Um, but uh, yeah, really, really frustrating. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a going to be a really long night, I think. Um, yeah, really disappointed. Uh, um, but that's definitely made my mind up about having to go home tomorrow. So I'm going to have to get up really early uh, and get cracking, so I can get back to the car because it's yeah, it's a good. I think um, you know it's another good 14 mile, 13, 14 miles back to the car. It's going to be yeah. I just love it. I need to get get it early and, and get cracking. Right, we try and try and pump this up. Um, hope it stays up for a bit and then um, get a couple of hours kit before it goes uh, back, back down again and then repeat. Oh. Well, morning. Yeah, that was a rough night. The the uh, pad kept going down, the tents kept kept going down every every couple of hours, which to be honest could have been worse because it could have kept going down every five minutes, which would have resulted in zero sleep at all. So I'm gonna have to um, definitely go home today, um, and I'll have to try and find out where that. It's been punctured. Um, see if I can get that fixed. I think, to be honest, it's it's a bit of a lesson for me. Um, this is the first time I've come out without a uh, foil um, reflective uh, mat underneath, which I've always done during the winter. But I thought, well, it's gonna be, the weather's going to be quite warmish. I didn't have. I've only got a big, thick one. I haven't got a. Which I use in my other tent. I haven't got a, a narrow one. For, for this tent, so um, I didn't, I didn't buy one, and I wish I had, um, and that might have prevented this issue. Uh, um, but um, it is a shame. I mean, it should it should be more resistant than that. I'm not on particularly any. The ground's you know, not particularly bad. I don't know. You know it's not. I'm not on any thorns or anything. You know, a little bit disappointed at that, but hey ho, it is what it is. So I'm just about to have some breakfast, um, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna get packed up and, uh, and get cracking. So I've got a long walk today, um, long walk back, and um, um, I'm, yeah, because um, obviously I can't 
camp tonight now. Definitely can't camp tonight, I've got that choice. So it's, um, yeah, lots of hiking and get back to the car and then uh, drive home. it. Leave no trace. So let me think. Looks looks like uh, when we run. Right. Let's get hiking. So it's still there, which is good. Um, so yeah, I definitely do Brecon Beacons again. Like I said, it's my first time here. Uh, it's lovely, and lots more to explore. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely be back.